Okay, so we all know that I'm in the process of trying to build a supercapacitor airplane, right? Well, I wanted to see if it was realistic to 3D print the body of this plane. And to do that, I decided to make a little tiny baby glider. I have very little experience 3D modeling, so I decided just to go to Thingiverse, which is like a website where people post their 3D models that they make, and search up glider. And after a little bit of research, I found this one, which was the model I used through the entirety of this video. Quick shout out to this guy for designing this model. I'll link his YouTube down below. I really wanted to print this out in resin, just because resin printing allows for much more detail and doesn't look as shitty as filament printing. Now, if I want to claim that this is the world's smallest 3D printed glider, I'd have to scale it down quite a bit. Now, to compensate for how small it'll be, I have to raise the model a little bit off of the bottom of like the plate that it's gonna adhere to. Cause at this 40% size, I believe the wings were only like two or three layers thick. Here I'm adding some supports so that I can break it off of that plate that it'll print on a lot easier and not have to worry about breaking off the wings. However, Spoiler warning, there is a much better way of aligning this on the plate, so if I put it up diagonally, I wouldn't have to worry about each of those wings only being one or two layers thick, because it would build them diagonally, and it would have a bunch of different layers in like a hypotenuse. I don't know, you'll see what I mean later. After downloading my sliced file, I centrally poured some new resin into my resin printer. Ooh. Sadly, all of the footage I got of me prying it off the plate disappeared somehow. But here's what it looks like fresh from the 3D printer. Okay, so I lied. It did end up uh, printing the little headpiece right there. That thing is gorgeous. It seems to have worked pretty well. I'm going to wash it and then I'm going to use some advice that I learned on my last video for 3D printing, and I'm gonna try and cut all of the little, ah! little uh, supports off before. Now, that little damage part on the tail might just mean I have to add another support there, not 100% sure, but I don't know, this might work pretty well. Let's see, let's wash it. Cleaning all of the residue off. All right. Now that thing is thin as f Indeed it is. Now let's have a little lesson in aerodynamics. When a wing is really thin, it's floppy. When a wing is floppy and curvy, it doesn't glide. As soon as I started removing the supports, the wings immediately started curving. It also didn't help that I printed it perfectly flat. So each of the layers in the wings were separating a little bit, creating little air pockets and air bubbles, which then just warped the wings further. As you can see, it's peeling apart. I'm gonna go throw this in my curing machine. I doubt it's gonna make a difference, but you never know, I guess. Yeah, like, it, this thing is two layers thick. There ain't no way this is gonna work. This is like paper thin. All right, so it's cured, I'm back, and um, yeah, it's fucked. It's definitely stiffer now than it was. Maybe I need to like cure it immediately after or something. Let's try hooking this up. I don't know how it goes, I think it slides in down like that. Maybe, that looks right. It's just so f The super fucked 3D printed glider. Maybe, maybe I cure it next time and then snip it. 
and see if that works because the the pegs hold it in place right the the supports they hold the wings in place and then once i cut it it gets all warped and shit. so let's uh let's try that all right so new plane I finally decided to put the glider on a slant so that as it's printing the wings, it'll take a lot more layers to finish it. Yes, the print will take longer, but it'll look better in the long run. I had learned my lesson from my last plane to not cure the model before snipping the supports off, but I just had to be extra careful to make sure that it didn't fall apart in my hands as I was taking a sharp object to it. In the end, the supports came off quite easily, and the plane looked way better than it did in all of my other attempts. Yes, there was a little divot in the wing, but I wasn't too worried about it. I've already wasted so much time on this stupid project anyway. This was supposed to just be a quick little funny video, haha. <laughs> and here I am wasting my goddamn life. Now, in theory, if I have something holding down the wings like this when I put it in my curing machine, it should cure right and cure flat, thus maintaining its, now hold for the technical term, glidey type shape. Once the resin had fully cured, I could tell that this would be the best glider I will make for this project. I've already put too many hours into this. I was thinking this would be like a quick little fun 30 minute project, right? Nah, I'm like three days in now. <sighs> However, I can't call this the world's smallest glider if it doesn't glide. So let's run some tests. So it's a little bit twirly, but... <clears throat> Now compare that to another object, the exact same weight. It didn't fly. That's fucking good enough for me.